Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Tim Johnson and Dana White. shortage of callouts as you would expect since UFC president Dana White announced his intentions to compete inside the octagon and when you break down the film on White hard not to like what you see the hands they are heavy you do not want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade with this guy he is an outstanding boxer he can lean on the takedown defense if need be to keep the fight upright Dana White looking to get his hands on the opposition early and often here tonight. This guy is a boxer, and he will have a distinct advantage if this fight goes in boxing distance, whether it's up against the cage with dirty boxing or in the center of the octagon where he can utilize his superior accuracy. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's going to do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the U.S. You ready to fight? You ready? And we are underway. Well, everybody wants a chance to get their hands on the boss, but at least to this point in time inside the octagon, a lot of people have had a hard time connecting. This is a very talented boxer with an educated jab, can lean on the wrestling defense if need be. He is an underrated grappler, and don't sleep on the cardio either. If Dana White has to go three hard fives tonight, he is more than capable of doing just that. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Johnson. Nice. Kick Whoa. to the headlands. He's stunned. That one hurt him badly. Lands a nice one, too. on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Dana White. How about that shoot? Just misses with the straight right. Oh! He's in trouble! He's in trouble! Big body shot! shot. Under a minute now to go in round one. 
Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Uh, Well-timed overhand there by Dana White. Johnson's eye really starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Able to check the high kick. Second oh, round, straight up. Take a seat. Deep breath. Yeah, relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. I want you to set those kicks up. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. The lovely Brittany Palmer getting the round one assignment. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Tries some serious power in that kick, but misses. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Good combination so far from both men. We show you the total strikes. Hit him with the jab. Hand speed, man. Nice straight punch there by Johnson. And an up kick. Dana White gets caught with that punch. And he lands to the leg. Working that up kick very nice just to keep his opponent away at this point. UFC President Dana White gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Three minutes remain in the round. Visibly limping here. Oh, a huge block there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Nice straight left. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. These guys are swinging. Misses a huge hook to the head. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Nice punch by UFC President Dana White. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. That one hurt. 45 seconds remain in the round. Johnson gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice combination. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. And that one certainly found the target. So you see the cut on the eyebrow is only getting worse as we come to the end of this round and the fighter quickly back to the stool. That cut's going to get some attention, but again, as soon as he absorbs another strike, that thing figures to open right back up. Here's a... Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. 
Well, you got to love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. The shot is blocked there by UFC President Dana White. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. How about that shin? Dana White gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense. Looks like his leg is hurt here, Joe. You can see him limping a little bit. Changes his stance. Definitely need to watch out for the up kick coming from him. Oh, strong inside leg kick. Really, he might have hurt his knee there. Nice leg kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, he's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Oh! oh and that's going to kill him. That's it. That's it. The fight's over. That's it. That's it. TKO by vicious leg kicks. Yeah, Joe, it was those debilitating, devastating leg kicks that ultimately led to the stoppage in this one. I'm not sure which kick it was that ultimately led to the injury, but he became a one-legged fighter, couldn't mount anything in terms of his own offense. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. not hurt anybody in the same club that used to turf everybody i put in 25 hours i outworked everybody turned down big money i know my worth i'm not any all right coming up next we get to this welterweight bout between conor mcgregor and yancy Medeiros. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very... With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Lead kick. 
kick landed there by McGregor. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, a nice straight there by Medeiros. Wow! He's, he's hurt. Kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further oh! damage. He hurt him back. He's got him hurt here. Whoa, head kick. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big shots. Oh, he missed that kick. just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. McGregor gets touched by that kick there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. How about that chin? Oh! He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Just missed with a huge kick. That kick from the southpaw position. He loves that left to the body. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Leg kick now. But Gregor gets hit with oh, 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 And just like out. that, the fight is over. A huge kick for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yancy Medeiro! So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by... Stevie Wonder on the pianos. Gucci Liberace in the building. Ray Charles on the flute. Uh. Sway Wallabies, I follow policies. Always give a game every time she me. Shoe blinks, but you gotta get the chart at least. It's a flyweight matchup between Joseph Benavides and Ray Borg. Joe, we get another look. As conditioned and well-rounded as any non-champion on the roster, maybe a guy here in Joseph Benavidez, who is the best fighter to never realize a UFC title, the UFC flyweight contender Joseph Benavidez, still trying to track down UFC golden glory as he graces the octagon once again tonight. Joseph Benavidez has devastating striking. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Benavidez is nine years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the... We are underway. Ray Borg has always been a guy who pushes a tremendous pace and leads the dance in the UFC. Borg gets caught with that punch. 
Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? Look out for the overhand right of Joseph Benavidez. He will throw it hard and throw it often. Now, the left hook hits home. And he's down. Oh! And he gets the single leg takedown. Punch is blocked. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Oh, nice straight left. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, flipped him with the jab. How about that chin? Trying to kick the leg out. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. Oh! Good power left kick. Nice body kick, though. Big looping right hand there. And he caught the kick. Under two minutes to go in our first round. He's going for the north-south position. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. Back to full guard, very nice. Oh, big head kick there. Knee to the body. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Beautiful inside leg kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. And he eats a kick. Nice right hand. Oh, huge block. Ray Borg gets hit by that kick to the body. Back to the first now, Joe. Ten seconds to go in the round. He clipped him with that one. Able to land to the body there with that kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. There's a nice leg kick. Big round. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water. And listen, I want you to set those kicks up. Here we go. Set the line. You ready? You ready? All let's right, go. let's get to round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Oh, and see, there it is. You know the overhand's coming, as we suggested, but you still can't stop it. Landed it beautifully there, and a nice setup to boot. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going oh! south on the agenda. He is hurt. And another one. He's in trouble. He is going after it here. How does he even put any weight on that leg? Look at the bruise on the outside of his thigh. Well, he just missed out another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Gotta figure out a way to conserve some energy here moving forward. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in buck. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mallory Yamasaki is going to stop this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds.
to my eyes. Waking up in mud, you left me to die. My heart turned cold December 29. 30 and below the day the hell froze. How did I survive? Blame it on my soul. Fire in the hole. You turn your back on me, it's clear you someone I don't even know. Being naive to jealousy can poison anybody's soul. Ending this chapter of my life without a funeral. So grab another shovel, dig another hole. survive i can't live a lie oh my dark times feel my rage deep inside to survive i can't live a lie to survive i can't live a lie my seven veins full of rage draining blood off the page angel on my shoulder devil on my case but my anxiety i can't escape i feel alive but something strange i'm scarred for life but where's the pain recognize your face forgot your name people come and go that's a common thing playing the game people will change you think you know someone they probably fake people will lie straight to your face look in the mirror they can't relate neither can i i'm out of place i trust myself people can wait despite it all my faith remains jesus was crucified nobody Let's go. 818, HOP, that on me. You gon' see, ain't no thing, bitch, I'm on. Bitch, I'm kicking through the door. Yeah, 818, HOP, that on me. Prodigy, when I hit the track, bitch, I'm gone. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah, homie G, the code MC, rolling deep to your vicinity. Yeah. I just had an epiphany, I don't know what it did to me, but I'm hoping the devil doesn't get into me. Mm. Still a beast tooth, it is me, it's finna be off the chain with a brand new delivery. Yeah. Try to get in my way, to fill in the rage, to sit in my brain, and then I blast through the smithereens. Please, I'll be damned if I'm thrown on the back burner. Maniac purge in a rap server, the cat burglar who be committing mass murder. That's word of the G.O.D., the game from the P.O.V. Begging they plead on knees, don't be no peace, the D.O.G., I feed on beats. Wanna die, they can lean on me, no deal with us. You pee, I done built it up, you wish you was on the field with us. I'm the ill, no deal, look at me grill. With me, then I will erupt, still we must remain calm. Yeah. Nate Palm in my dang palm, I'm a dark villain like Blaze Bond, the Acom with a cape on, it ain't fun, you can't run. This is a horror flick your life is based on. I ain't gonna say that I'm running shit, that's the shit every rapper saying, think about it. Just it is a women's 115 pound matchup between Alexa Grasso and Angela Hill. Well, 
if there was an award from the... Representing Lobo MMA in Guadalajara, here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican, or tail of the tape for this strawweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. You ready? You ready? Well, it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. All right, Angela Hill is ready to go in round one. Her current form, undeniably the best of her UFC career. She is super aggressive out of the shoot and derives a lot of confidence, of course, from her training camp, Alliance MMA. She believes iron... Oh! Oh, oh beautiful combination. This could be it. Nice leg kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice leg kick. Well, she continues to do a great job with the leg kicks in this round. She told us coming in, she had to slow her opponent down, mess with her feet a little bit, and that is exactly what she has accomplished here in this round. Yep. Hill gets tagged by the head kick there. Not sure how many more of those she can absorb if she wants to stay in this fight. Oh! Oh, she blocks the punch. Nice punch by Hill. Very good exchanges here. Well, there's the head kick in at land. She has shown a vulnerability to it by leaning in, and that time it looked as if she almost moved right into her opponent's kicking range. Certainly something that bears watching here moving forward in this fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, that's a powerful body kick right there. And she caught the kick. Another two minutes now to go. Now she's in half guard. Into half guard again. Full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Beautiful hammer fist. Now she's in full guard. to go. Oh! A front kick to the face! This could be it right here. Oh! What a leg kick! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! She's out! She's out cold! And just She's like that, cold. the fight is over! Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ended. Wow, Joe, I'm not even sure I believe what I... Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 53 seconds of the... Women's Bantamweight Showdown between Raquel Pennington and Ashley Evans-Smith. Good to see this young woman back making the walk to the octagon. Riding a nice winning streak here is the UFC. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical. How about some Bruce Buffer? 
You ready? You ready? Let's go We are underway. You know, Joe, not a lot of people envision Raquel Pennington as a future Bantamweight contender when she came off of the Ultimate Fighter, but through hard work, dedication, and a constant focus on improvement, that is exactly what Raquel Pennington is here as she approaches the final of her career. Pennington trying to make it six straight wins as she takes to the octagon tonight. And she lands a nice kick. First round is underway now, and you got to watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fun. Oh! Oh! She's out! She's, She's out, out cold. cold! She's out cold! Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, outstanding technique by her to land that shot and finish the fight here in the first round. Sometimes when you catch a fighter cold before she's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a more pronounced effect. That is certainly the case in this fight here tonight. What a result, what a knockout. Let's see that from another angle. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Sounding like a mixtape. They ain't see it coming like a fast break. They ain't see it coming like Jordan hitting jumpers. Yeah, they asked me when that new music about to drop. Ain't that what I gave you last week? Last yeah. Week. Oh, you done it now. Feels like I'm coming up and spit it like I'm underground. When the I come into your city like I run a town. Let the sound start it on the stage. Now we in coming up next, it is a middleweight clash between Lyoto, the Dragon Machina, and C.B. Dalloway. Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will... So here he is, the talented karate practitioner, former UFC light heavyweight champion. Or tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Lyoto Machida is perhaps the very best fighter at lunging in with unpredictable striking. His sniper-like attack is very confusing to opponents as well as his unusual karate stance. His takedown defense is highly underrated. He also has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him. He's clearly hurt. Big knee to the body. Nice leg kick. Oh, doing a damn good job with those leg kicks, Joe. And now you'll start to see his opponent slow down. Absolutely. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. How about that shin? Throwing that jab yet again out of range. The Dragon Machina gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, nice punch there by Dalloway. And inside leg kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. The kick is there to the body. Oh, a huge inside leg kick for him. In on a double leg takedown here. Nice left, left kick to the body. Machida's leg is compromised a little bit here, Joe. You see him starting to limp. Straight right is there for Machida. Nice inside leg kick. Both men landing in that exchange. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Body kick, look at that. Vicious combination. Oh! Huge oh! right hand! Oh! oh! Nice! Oh, he lands a huge kick to the body, Joe. Big shot! He's got him hurt here. Just 
just missed with that huge kick. Takedown attempt there. So he stuffs another takedown. Good takedown defense thus far in this fight. Oh, nice punch there by Machi. Final minute of round one. Dalloway gets the overall. Oh, hit him with a big knee. First takedown attempt is there. Dalloway gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He's inside control here. Oh, some big elbows starting to pile up. He's trying to spin to the back. Final seconds here of round one. Five minutes in the books. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from Machida. Big knockdown. Very important. Significant damage. Probably won the round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer in the building. All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's going to get knocked out. Machida gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. He's down! And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Big power shot there. That bruise on his outer thigh is getting much worse. Total strikes. Oh, and he got oh, the tag with the leg. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, he's going for it. He's oh. for it. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb the oh. The jab followed by the right hand. Nasty combinations here. Oh! What a leg kick. Again, heavy leg kick. We got to fight, folks. Hurt him with that uppercut. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's trying to stay up. Powerful right hand. Well, he's really starting to land number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! That one hurt. Punch coming, it's blocked. The Dragon Machida gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. Oh, yeah, he hurt him. He got hurt very, very badly. in the clinch. Trying to get a single. Oh, gets the takedown late in the round here, Joe. Back to half guard now. 20 seconds to go round two. Ten seconds to go. Two rounds in the books. Huh. Tonight caught his opponent flush full force 
full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Check it out again. Bang! So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Joe Lozon and Justin Gaethje. So as this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about... Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Dateline, go, Las Vegas, Nevada. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Straight right hand now, just misses. Caught him with a punch. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Oh, you gotta like that leg kick, Joe. Oh! Beautiful right hook! No! Oh! Oh! He's out! Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets... All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between Johnny Eduardo and Aljamain Sterling. Well, a former Saks Fifth Avenue shoe salesman, now one of the best bantamweights on the planet. Here is the funk master, Aljamain Sterling, rep All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Eduardo is 11 years the elder. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Strong, a two-time Division III All-American wrestler in college. Had an opportunity to train with one of his former teammates, John Jones and has not looked back. Oh, he just misses with the right hook there, Joe. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the avid fans, you gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides, and a big part of his game plan, obviously, coming in here tonight. He's hurt! He's hurt! Big elbow! 
huge kick misses. Landing a good series of strikes here. Oh! Oh! oh. Unbelievable. You to get out of here. Do something. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection oh, like it did. Him a little bit. What a wild exchange! He's got hurt here. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. How about that shin? Oh, good kick. Starting to limp a little bit. Clean with the right hook. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed. Big oh. kick to the head. He's stunned. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he might be out. So one or a minute to go here in what has been a Side leg kick lands. Oh, he's hurt again. He is stumbling. Big shots. Powerful left hand. Oh, he tagged him again. He's hurt. Nice. Oh, hey, let's take a look here. Here's a huge kick that stuns. was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. Back to side control. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Sterling gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. He's got a clinch. He's got double underhooks, Joe. And they move out of the clinch. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. you got to get that head off the center line. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's going to try to take the back. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Moves to half guard. He's now working from side control again. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. That punch is good. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combo. Oh! Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Cut misses. Oh! He's out! Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett.
All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Cain Velasquez and Fabricio Verdun. well-rounded as any heavyweight on the roster. Here's the former. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Verdun is five years the elder. Velasquez weighed in at 240 pounds. The reach. You ready? You ready? Round one. So here's Cain Velasquez yet again. More often than not, you know what's coming. At some point, the takedown should be there in round one. And then the question is, what does Velasquez do with it? Some of the best ground and pound in the game. Cain Velasquez is back. Wow! He's in a lot of trouble. the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. The wait is over for this heavyweight championship fight between Alexander Gustafson and Vanderlei Silva. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk. And Cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Vanderlei Silva will go down in history as one of the most aggressive fighters the world has ever seen. He is the quintessential berserker Muay Thai striker out of the shooter box camp of Brazil. several years and he has taken on all comers more often than not leaving them twitching on the canvas knockout power for days the question is tonight with a challenge like this can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world the champion is in focus he is in his prime he's making his way towards the cage his training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular he believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused Our 
tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Nice defense there. Huge block. He got tagged there. Doubling up on the jab there. Whoa! The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. Oh. Oh, head kick. Body kick, look at that. Oh. He is hurt here. Clean overhand. Big kick, but miss. Flips the punch. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. Oh, he heard him again. He heard him. He's rocked. Nice leg kick. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? He's in big trouble. Wow! Oh! What a leg kick! He's out! Oh! Beautiful shot to end the fight here. Outstanding knockout. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Look at this. Boom! And that's all she wrote. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here. To Circle. I don't rock with you, man. I don't rock with you, man. I don't go up my circle. 